Good morning, everyone. We're going <clears> to <throat> attempt to do a few videos or a few things this morning. Um, the first one I thought would be fun is Dolly Gideon, and that is by Little Waddle Nursery. Kitty had the cutest video on. Go back and look at it if you haven't yet. And forgive me, I may be a little tiny bit shaky. I do not have the tripod. But this is this spare bedroom. There's a closet over there. And this is my baby room. This is where all the baby magic happens. Um, there is just storage like diapers, my brushes, combs. Um, there's a bottle back there. There's my cards. There's my COAs in the plastic back there. Uh, there's my devotional book, diapers, a little bit of everything in there. And then this is pretty much where Nancy Ellen hangs out. She is on a um, afghan that my aunt made me many, many, many years ago. And then this is my stack of clothes that I have got on Reborns.com to still sell. Right now, this is where Miss Sophie hangs out. And while we're with Sophie, she is doing Casual Fun Friday. She's in a little gray jumpsuit with a lavender bow. And she's got on white socks. And uh, she's just hanging out. That's my Winnie the Pooh. I did take down my other uh, alphabet that I had in here. This, of course, is Holland. Um, he pretty much shares the chair right now with Bevan. That's their chairs. And, of course, you just saw him earlier this week in that little outfit. Right now, that's where our deers are hanging out. And I'm not sure if Suzanne is still doing Knit Week or not. If she is, here's little Miss Presley. And she is in a beautiful aqua knit outfit with an aqua headband. I'll get you down here. She's just hanging out on the boppy with her little white ruffly socks. And also, hang on a minute. You're coming back out. Um, Soft Doll Sunday, and that is my Bella Blessing. Here is my only soft doll I've got, besides, you know, the Scentsies and the Stuffies. But um, this is my little Lulu doll, and I did change her. She is in a cute little fall outfit. It's mauve and gray with black and white striped shirt. I have not changed the blankets and pillows yet for Christmas. Today is hashtag dress up. Thursday with Stephanie and Jackie at In Love with Reborns 2011. And they said it was Christmas, bears, or fall. So we got it all going on here. There's fall back there. There's the bear. And Bevan is in the first Christmas outfit of the season. This is a Jojo Maman Bebe. Um, it's white sleeper. And it's got little polka dotted reindeers all over it. And actually, that is a newborn, so it, it fits him tight, but it fits him. So here is a close up of Mr. Bevan. And then right now, I'm just kind of keeping the tripod right there handy. Um, you know, normal stuff. This is where I keep. The Lulu dolls things. Although I've got a Christmas pillow that I brought and put in there. But that's Lulu's clothes. And uh, I've showed you guys this before, but I may have some new viewers. I was a scrapbooker for many, many, many years. And I created this page. I do not have a lot of pictures of my grandmother. This is my maternal grandma, my Clara Ellen that I loved so much. And it's my cousin Kim. She's the tall one. My little baby cousin Shayla and me in the stripes. And we were at grandma's having a birthday party. 
And there's just all kinds of memories that I have put around the frame. So that's something near and dear to my heart. And then there's my notebook for all of the videos and, and thoughts I've got and tags I write down. And then over here is where I keep my preemie things. And we won't go in the closet because it is stuffed full of baby things. I have too many baby clothes. This is a picture that um, I got, no, oh, probably 10 years ago at a craft store or a craft shop, I should say. We were having actually a craft event and we had it at Damon's, believe it or not. We opened up the back and it was a bunch of my friends because I used to consign and, uh, one of my friends was selling this, and I absolutely love it. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. And this will be my thankful Friday. But this is the room. It's not huge, but it's not teeny tiny. It works. Um, I would love to have a crib and... As you can see, that will not work because all of these tubs are also filled with baby things. <laughs> um, one last thing I should have said at the beginning. I wanted you guys to, I'm going to bring my notebook over here, uh, hang around till the end. I might put that in the description. It is getting time. If we're going to do Secret Santa, we need to be thinking about it. So... Anyone that wants to participate in Secret Santa, and this will be our third time. We did it last Christmas, and we had a blast. We had a ton of fun. And then we did Christmas in July. And now we're going to do Christmas 2023. It's a $20 um, limit. And... If you're interested in playing and joining Secret Santa, send me either an email or an Instagram message, and I will have that in the description box below. Um, I need it no later than November 20th, because if you want to play one, I need your address. Probably a lot of you, I have your addresses. Anybody new, I need your address. And everyone, I need two or three ideas of what you would like, what you're interested in, whether it be baby things, journaling things, biblical things, um, maybe you want gloves or mittens, um, whatever it is that you want on your wish list that won't go over $20, I need a few ideas. And then after the 20th, probably that weekend around then, I will draw names and I will send everyone either an email or an Instagram message. Instagram messages are easier for me, but if you don't have Instagram, you can do email. Then all you do is go out and shop, have fun, buy your person's gift, wrap it up and mail it to them. And I ask that everyone, the deadline to mail out the gifts is December 15th. So if you want to do this, please have your gift in the mail by December 15th. Now, we have left out some of our other friends from Canada, Australia, um, Belgium, oh my goodness, England. So here's the deal, guys. I talked with Jay. And, um, you know, we need to have even numbers. It's like I said, if we don't have even numbers, then I don't play. I let you guys play. Um, because, you know, we have to have enough for everybody to have a partner. So if we do this and open it up to all the countries, uh, guys, we would have to have, a, a you know, an equal number. But say J and the J Dolls UK and Chris's Cruddles, okay? If you two would want to pair up, let me know if you would be interested in attempting this. Kitty and Toddy, um, 
you know, there's Sam and Renee that's also in Australia. And um, Annette, I'm not sure who's around Belgium. Help me out here, guys. I need help. And, of course, there's Patricia's Dolly Dreams. There's Melamory Nursery. There's Julie at the Country Cottage. And there's probably more in Canada. So, if we can get pairs, we'll open it up to the countries, too. Okay? So, if you have any questions, hit me up. Again, I will put all this information in the description box below. And guys, we hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Great weekend. And we will see you when we see you. Bye, guys.